The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hey, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Looking good, feeling good. Merry Christmas, Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. We've got a Christmas present today, boys and girls. Posted in the Tiger Den for the first time ever for newcomers. A, B equals C, D in A, P, P, L, E. This is it, baby. 174, you put a stop at 175.50, and you risk a buck and a half. I don't know how you can risk any less on a stock like that, but that is a very, very beautiful completed pattern. If you're confident enough to count the numbers between A, B, and count the numbers between C, D, you'll see they're equal. You'll see that the ratios are equal. you see that the slant of the lines are equal. In other words, the tops of the lines connect in a parallel channel so this should be a top i'm not saying it's the top but it could be a top in the uh in the pattern itself with apple now there was a couple others last night that were very important and i'll bring these to your attention here by the way our best our guest today uh will be tim bost and uh, financial cycles weekly out of bradenton florida we want to get this chart up to show you here happens to be the Dow Jones E-mini. Uh, we noticed that uh, last night the high, uh, uh, we sent this out quite a bit earlier, but before that high was made, but the high was up there at uh, 35,900, uh, I believe, and hit uh, 35,905. We've sold off a little for that. If it weren't for Apple, the Dow would probably be down about 200 points, given the fact that Apple has so much weight. Uh, in the Dow Jones, well, it doesn't have any weight in the Dow Jones because they're not cap weighted. That wasn't very smart, Larry. Uh, but it, it has in, in the S and P, of course. Let's just move on to a couple others that were interesting. Let's move on to the Nasdaq, and then I will save the S and P uh, for last. We'll get this Nasdaq up here so you'll be able to see it here. This is what we're looking at here: is the uh, hourly to four-hour chart on the Nasdaq. You'll notice that. Uh, you can see it very closely that there is a head and shoulders pattern there. The left shoulder back on November the 5th. The head came in on the high on the 22nd of November. And this should be a high today. It is actually a lower high than the one we had back on uh, the uh, the 5th by about one point is all. So that uh, you know fulfills that objective. The time objective is right. It made a 73%. Uh, retracement. I don't use that number very much. Well, I don't use it at all, uh, but I, I use 618 and 786. But uh, the timing is right as far as the number of days in the run and also the fact that the right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder. But the one that was very interesting from our perspective, because we look at the E-mini so much, and I'm going to do, I sent a video out on this uh, early in the evening. I mean, it was, oh, it was really early in the evening. I think it was around Right around 6 o'clock New York time. Hold on. Uh, around 7 o'clock New York time. Let's get this up here so we can take a look at This is the one that was uh, the most interesting because I, I, did, I put a lot of, uh, in the video, I put some, uh, you know, crazy count. Uh, I, I, I deleted all the lines and all I did was the time counts between the, the left shoulder on November the 5th. That was equivalent to the NASDAQ one, right? And then you went up and made a high up there at 17, uh, 40 uh, and a half. And then you came down, and the right shoulder should not be any higher than 1712. That's just what I had said in here last night when we sent it out long before the 1712. But if that's correct, I said the right shoulder will not be any higher than the right shoulder. And they, they were they were within one quarter of a one one tick, one tick, twelve dollars and fifty cents of being equal. And as you can see, we've had a little bit of a sell-off today. Now. When you're doing something like that, you know, you got to have a stop in. And, of course, you know, the stop on this would have been 47.25, uh, risking about five, 600 bucks is all. But usually when they go through it immediately, uh, it will be interesting. I happened to be asleep when this was occurring, so I didn't know what happened until just a few hours ago. Well, 
we've been selling off a little bit since that time. But that could be, uh, you know, a major head and shoulders uh, pattern. But uh, again, you know, uh, if you're in that, if you happen to be in that trade, it's made a couple of bucks. So heaven's sakes, don't give it back. I mean, gee whiz, you just don't want to give that much back if you have it. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877 927 6648. We'll be happy to uh, answer them if we can. And uh, also, uh, let me know if Apple gets above uh, 174.50. I'd like to know that. And also, would someone tell me what is the last price of Apple? Because I use delayed data, and I would like to know what the price of Apple is, if you would be so kind. Someone, one of you stock people out there that follow every tick, uh, be so kind. It's at 73.71. Okay, that's all right. All right, let's move on here to cover a couple things that we want to talk about. Uh, one of them, folks, here is we really have to pay attention here to this uh, pattern here that we're seeing here in the uh, – the, hold on one second. Let me get it up here. In the natural gas. Now, we, we went down there the other day. You remember we were on the air. We were talking about buying it at there, 367. We had a little bit of a rally from there. But we got to start looking at this on a little bit longer time frame. And the reason why is uh, we, we want to be able to find a spot – I think this is going to have a heck of a rally, folks. We've dropped we've dropped three thirty thousand dollars in in six week eight weeks in natural gas during the time when it's supposed to be the most bullish. So what we want to do now is to uh, uh, oh I'm sorry, dead messages. I know. Well, just a second here. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the 30-year bonds. Yes, I certainly am. But anyway, we're going to be. Uh, I'm just giving you a heads up on the natural gas, folks. That's all I want to. Let me get it up here. I hit the wrong buttons on some of these time because I'm not, uh, uh, you know, I've never actually played an online, uh, well, I, I've played online poker a few times, but I've never done any of these games that they play Madden and all these war games and stuff like that. It's, uh, I, I just don't do any of those things. Okay, now let me get rid of that and we'll get over to the bonds. The bonds is the, uh, that's the gift that just keeps on giving, folks. Uh, we've been very, very bearish the bonds, as you know. Uh, that 174 number was a really big number up there. And you'll notice here, uh, last night, oh, shucks, having the same problem here, Bubba. Just a second here, folks. I have a hard time with this. Uh, I've got to move this screen out of the way so that I don't uh, react to the uh, – hold on a second here. All right, let's see. Al, If uh, did I post that bond chart correctly? Please do, Okay. All right. Yay. Looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Okay. Now, there's the Treasury bond. Last night, we had a 382 retracement, a big down move. Look for the first 382 retracement. Bada bing, bada boom. So far, it happened. That's the main thing that we wanted to be watching. Yesterday, also, if you remember, we were short the euro, and I wanted to bring this uh, up to you to let you folks take a look at it here. Uh, this, is a, this is a perfect example. I sent this out. Uh, in a in a video, of course, uh, but uh, yesterday morning uh, we did cover that. You can see right around that uh, time uh, we, we were on the air when we covered that, and then we went up. and I'll be right back after the words of our sponsor, WWWTFNN. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we got a question from the folks in the Tiger Den. Uh, Mr. Bo was asking, do I think it's a good idea to sell a May uh, 22, 150 call on a currently a $51 stock and collect 550 That is a smart trade, and I can tell you why, Bo. If you're an option seller, your odds of winning are better than 85%. If you're an option buyer, the odds of you winning are about 15%. So that is a good deal. I don't know anything about options. All I can tell you, but selling an option is better. If you ever gone into the the uh, the, uh, <laughs> the Chicago Board Options Exchange there at the Board of Trade, you'll notice that they have these big badges. All the guys have their trading badges on, and they always have a badge on the left-hand side that says, sell an option, buy a Mercedes. And that's uh, the odd, the odd, whether it's a put or a call. If you sell it, you got a better chance because it's a wasting asset. But as far as the price, hey, say, you know what you do, Bo? Ask these guys at the, the uh, Think or Swim. Have they, they really know these option stuff. You know, that's the one you want to – that's the person you want to watch. I, I know a, Paul, a call is you want it to go up, a put you want it to go down. And I know a little bit about a, a, a tiny bit of a spread, a debit spread or a credit spread. But after that – you know, I know I know very little about that. I'm a I'm a flat out uh, trader, and that uh, option uh, a futures trader and stock uh, futures and uh, commodities. And, and what I mean by that is gold and silver, crude oil, and foreign exchange. That's what I really do. I don't do any. I do occasionally. I'll put an option out there, and it'll work from from the beginning, and then it'll probably just roll over. But I frankly don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, speculate but by just by selling the option it gives you a tremendous uh, a tremendous advantage now let's look at a couple of things yesterday we were watching if you remember we were watching the uh the chart of the uh of march wheat we had a perfect head and shoulders pattern you can see the right shoulder equal to a little bit actually a little bit higher than the left shoulder which was perfect uh, this is only a 15-minute chart, but remember, when you're trading a 15-minute chart, you can keep your loss to 250 on a $7,000 contract, and that's a that's a good deal in anybody's language. Now, look what happened to that. Look what happened to that trade, though. I mean, you talk about uh, you know really easy one to do without any trouble at all. 
Bada bing, bear, there you go. You see right there is your bottom on the right shoulder there. And you make an A, B, C, D up at the top. And we're already trading down at $8 again after after that. So it had two trades in it. So that's a, that's if you get lined up with some of these things, they line up uh, relatively well. Now, the other one that, was, that we talked about on the show yesterday uh, was the Euro. Uh, that's been a... Uh, Hold on, let me get this up here so we can see it easily enough. Where is the old euro? I've got it here somewhere. And here it is. Let's just get up here so we can take a quick look at this one. And uh, we'll have Tim on here in a few minutes, which will be very, very interesting. These I put out in the video last night to let the folks take a, take advantage of it. But this one, we were on the, uh, on the air yesterday. We were covering the short down there at uh, 122.40. Uh, uh, and then you'll notice that we didn't get a chance to buy it. We were trying to buy a pullback. And the first pullback we got was early this morning in New York around 630. You see it hit a 382 retracement, stayed there for 45 minutes, and then it takes off. Then it backs off, gave you another 38% retracement. And this is basically telling us that this euro is in the midst of making, uh, has made a, probably a major bottom down here at 122, i.e. a major top in the U.S. dollar index up around that 97 level. So uh, that's uh, these are shorter term, but this is the first indication that we've seen something like that happening. And that's really what uh, to ask here. Now, somebody says, I want to hear your most, uh, oh, the CB story. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I have a lot of them because I was down there for several years but uh I, you know i you know what I, I have a i've got a i've got about 100 pages of an autobiography that i'm not going to write but uh, what i'll do is i'll pull that out somewhere and i'll start to remember some of the you know the fun things that i saw i think i've told these stories before but uh, one uh, one of my mo well we, we don't have time here today because we've only got uh well we've got four minutes don't we uh 29 22 a.m Oh, we got more. We got more than that. One of my favorite when I after I first met Byron Tucker, uh, he was running a, a Goldman Sachs and uh, Leo's uh, Leo Malamud's Delshire Commodities uh, there on the Merck, and uh, we were in the we were in the T bill pit, and uh, we were in the way back part of it, and he reached up and he grabbed me and he, get out of there, and I said why? He said come on, I want to show you something. And he went up and we went up into the gallery above the. Uh, above the T-bill pit, I and mean, you, you could just look down and see it. I mean, it's just only like 20 feet away, and there's all kinds of people there, you know, watching all the trading going on. And, of course, uh, I never wore a, uh, a trader's jacket. I wore a suit, and I wore my badge because I didn't want to be cons construed with a local where they could hammer me. And I didn't go into the pit after the first two or three weeks. I just gave my orders to the order clerk and had him put them in. But we were watching this movement in the T-bill pit, and it was going like this. It was like a wave of wheat back and forth, buying and selling back and forth. I said, I said, wow. He said, that's really me. He said, watch what's going to happen next. And I said, oh, my God, it's going to fall over, isn't it? He said, you're damn right. And he said, there's going to be some serious injuries. And it happened just a few minutes later. The whole thing tipped over. And, folks, the most amazing thing is these guys are falling down over these steps on the steps and falling down there and they're still yelling and screaming trading i mean i couldn't believe it i mean it was really uh, an amazing I, and i imagine if you well you don't have that so so long ago or that's 40 years ago they wouldn't have the youtube but it, it was uh, it was really an experience to uh, to see that happen i saw it happen twice uh, in the T-bill pit during the three years I was there. Now the T-bill pit was the largest, the largest pit at the Merck. The bond pit was 50 times bigger than the T-bill pit, and that's where the you know that's where the big money was over there in the bond market. That was uh, and John, uh, Robbie Moore, uh, Charlie D, and uh, Tom Baldwin. All those guys. They they never came over to the Merck. We uh, we we were different. We were on different planets than they were. Okay, I hope that uh, gives you some indication. I'll think of some others, but uh, that was one that was uh, quite memorable to me. So we'll see what's uh, going on with some of these things right here. Okay, how much time we got left? We got a minute. If you got any questions, just uh, go to, uh, you know, yeah, he said, Bo says, read a page to start each show. <laughs> well, that'll, only be a, that'll only be a half a year, Bo. What am I going to do the other half of the year? Oh well, I will I will do that because I've got them in the file over here, and I will I write, write writing myself a note right after the break here that I will do some of these because I know you like to hear some of those things. That's about it. Huh? Ah, 
someone saying maybe just a half a page or just the idea of a page. Who knows? We'll have to do one thing at a time here. Um, anyway, uh, just here's here's a test for you, boys and girls. A test, quick. If you believe in 382, and we showed you Tesla yesterday, go look at Tesla today, okay? And yesterday and today, go look at Tesla. If you like 382, prob if you like 382, and I think you do, oh, I as a poet, and I don't know it. Take a look at it, folks. You'll see that the high of yesterday was 382 of the high. Bada bing, bada boom. You can't make it up, but you can think about it. And I hope that you learn to do it yourself because then you really have something you can fall back on. That's the bottom line. Stay tuned for Tim Bost, Financial Cycles Weekly. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with none other than Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly out of Bradenton, Florida. Timothy, Good how are morning, you today? Sir. How are you? Living the dream on the green side of the grass. How are you? It's about the same here. Doing Good. quite well today, actually. Well, <laughs> so. your your, Mar your Mars Jupiter seems to be uh, working because uh, the market's at least sold off a little bit today. Maybe we'll have one down day this month. 
Right. Uh, it, it's been very interesting here to see this uh, impact uh, because today we have a Mars-Jupiter waning square. Uh, what that means is uh, we, we have a 90-degree alignment between uh, Mars and Jupiter, and we track uh, the interactions of these two planets uh, in particular uh, because of their association uh, with uh, uh, success in general. <laughs> Mars yeah. is all about uh, taking action in various ways, and uh, you know that sometimes that action is conflict, sometimes it's constructive uh, stuff that goes on. But when we combine it with Jupiter, which is the planet associated with optimum success, growth and expansion, more money, all that kind of stuff, uh, then we have successful action uh, that we can uh, do. Mm -hmm. So that applies to us personally in our businesses uh, and in the markets as, as well. That's why we track this. Uh, and so uh, Mars has about a two-year cycle and Jupiter about a 12-year cycle. Uh, so they come together relatively infrequently. Uh, and uh, the, of course, most famously, they will conjoin each other about every uh, two years and a month, something like that. Uh, and so uh, uh, that's always an important event. Uh, the opposition is when they're 180 degrees apart. Uh, and uh, then uh, in between those times, we have the squares. Uh, and this one is coming up today. Uh, uh, Mars will be at uh, uh, 26 uh, degrees 24 of uh, Scorpio, Jupiter at 26, 24 of Aquarius. And so uh, these are two fixed signs of the zodiac. And even though we're looking here at uh, positive dynamics coming out of this in general, when we examine uh, this horoscope for, for this uh, particular event, uh, today uh, there the implications are not entirely uh, positive we, we do have this uh, in an eighth harmonic alignment with the trans neptunian factor uh, hades uh, and uh, whenever we pull hades into uh, effect uh, what we're looking at is the potential for negative things in general it's uh, uh, situations of de decay and uh, discarded stuff and uh, downward turns mm -hmm. in, in financial matters uh, sometimes outright poverty repulsive behavior and uh, criminal activity in, in general so Hades is there all the time it just it gets emphasized from uh, now and then so we want I want to be conscious of this, that as the markets are booming right now, there may be some downside potential, not only in terms of price pullbacks, uh, but implications behind the scenes as well. Uh, mm -hmm. That's also emphasized here with the Aries Zeus midpoint being triggered uh, right now by this event. Uh, Aries is the Aries point is uh, implies things that have a global impact, uh, and so uh, the forcefulness of Zeus. Uh, joins that, and uh, this is a potential for global uh, armed conflict, uh, or at least on a, on a global scale. Doesn't mean the whole world breaks out in conflict, uh, but uh, certainly we want to be alert to, to that, and also uh, the use of, uh, of uh, weaponry in general uh, in, uh, in in domestic uh, dynamics as, as well. Not that that's anything unusual these days, but we certainly want to be alert to that, especially to the degree that it can impact market behavior. Our philosophy here is that. We can always look at uh, the fundamentals, what's going on in geopolitics, what's going on in economic matters. And as a result of that, uh, then, uh, uh, we can uh, uh, get a potential skewing of the market. Certainly, if there's a big upset, a war breaks out, somebody gets assassinated, uh, the markets are quick to react. And so we want to be cautious about that dynamic as well. But probably most interesting here is the fact that we also have uh, a, a midpoint between Neptune and the trans Neptunian factor of Vulcanus uh, being triggered uh, with this uh, uh, Mars-Jupiter uh, 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 alignment uh, that's happening today. Uh, and uh, Neptune, of course, is the planet association with uh, speculation in general, uh, and it's uh, you know fantasy thinking uh, and creativity, uh, you know artistic behavior, all kinds of wonderful things come out of that uh, Neptunian imagination. Uh, when we apply it to the markets, sometimes we can get a little carried away and have uh, sentiments that uh, are, are, are bullish uh, that are not necessarily deservedly so. Uh, but when we combine mm. it with Vulcanus, this is the trans-Neptunian factor uh, that represents a massive uh, impact of forcefulness. Uh, it, you know, the classic phrase is, I got an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's what <laughs> Vulcanus does. It, it makes uh, it almost compulsory that we... Uh, take a bullish stance in the markets right now. And so we have this irresistible push toward uh, more speculation, 
uh, and uh, of course uh, delusional behavior is a part of that as well. Uh, so yeah. uh, we we deal with fear and greed in the markets, and then there's also delusion from time to time. Sure. Now, as I recall from my old days when Twentyman was studying GAN, uh, the Mars Neptune was one of the major things that he had marked on his charts. I remember that because you know the square is just a little square, but the Neptune has got that. Uh, you know, it looks like a, well, it looks like Neptune, you know, like a four. And uh, he had those all over the charts. And uh, at that time, I, well, I know a little about astrology now, but uh, back in those days, I knew very little. And the mystery behind Gann and all the astrology that he does, did you find any of that stuff when you were studying Gann? Uh, Absolutely, Mars, yeah. We have uh, Gann's uh, charts as, as reference points, and he did mark in uh, not just the planetary positions, but also uh, planetary price lines. He would track those over time, and we've done a lot of work right now. And actually, we're getting ready to release a new Gann course uh, dealing specifically with his uh, work on correlating time and price uh, via planetary dynamics. And it's a yeah. fascinating study, uh, very, very rewarding that want, uh, for those who want to dig more deeply into that. So uh, we hope to have that ready to release here in the next couple of weeks and we'll be sharing information about it when we do. Oh, yes, yes, we certainly want to hear about it. Are you doing work with his square of nine also? Uh, ab absolutely, yeah. We, we had a, 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 an introductory GAN course we released a couple of years ago, and we dealt with square of nine in that. Uh, and uh, we mentioned it in, in this uh, newer uh, course as well. Um, but uh, the, the two kind of go together. We can do some of the basic level stuff. This is more advanced, looking specifically at the use of planetary price lines and the ability mm -hmm. to uh, forecast prices with some uh, precision here. In fact, you know, we do that uh, kind of regularly here uh, with our work uh, – uh, here at uh, at Financial Cycles Weekly, I uh, use that as a tool. And in this case, what we've got is a chart here for the S and P, uh, and what we've added are planetary price lines for uh, Jupiter and Mars. Uh, the Mars lines are the uh, red uh, diagonal uh, dynamics. The Jupiter lines are the curvy, uh, more or less horizontal <laughs> uh, dynamics. And what we're seeing coming up here uh, is the crossing point of the two. That's happening today. And that your price bar for yesterday, the big gap upward, um, you know, maybe that's delusional behavior, just uh, certainly speculative energy <laughs> coming <laughs> into the market anyway. So we're seeing that yeah. kind of uh, correlation there with that. But we use these planetary price lines in a lot of different applications to help us understand uh, potential trade setups and uh, also define uh, uh, support and resistance on an astrological basis, uh, which we found is, is very, very uh, rewarding in terms of our uh, efforts in the markets. Whenever we have that as a correlating factor, uh, it gives us uh, extra confidence in our trading. Uh, and the interesting thing about it is that those uh, dynamics are based on planetary positions rather than on prices in the market. Hey, stay with us, Jim. We're going to pay a few bills and we'll be right with you. Tim Boss, right. Financial Cycles Weekly, folks. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back. We're chatting with uh, Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, I posted a chart here in the room, uh, something that uh, I don't understand, uh, waxing and waning and stuff. So I'll bring this chart up and uh, let the or the graph up, and if you let the tell the folks what you're looking at here, because it seems it has a pretty good indication of when these markets make some pretty good turns. It looks like. Right, uh, and it's interesting here, you know, as we mentioned earlier, uh, we're looking at these alignments between Mars and Jupiter in the fourth harmonic. What that means is we are concerned with the conjunctions, the time that the two planets are at uh, this, the same spot in, in the sky, uh, and then the oppositions when they're 180 degrees apart. In between the two, we have two squares, uh, the 90 mm -hmm. degree angles. And uh, what happens is after we have the conjunction, Mars moves faster than Jupiter, and so it, it separates, and there's a waxing square then that's a 90 degree separation and then we go to the opposition 180 degrees and then come back around to 270 degrees uh, through its cycle and that forms a 90 what, what's left out of 360 minus 270 is 90 degrees and so that's a mm -hmm. waning square and what we discovered is that all squares are not alike uh, they have remarkably different impacts uh, on the markets and so we separate the waning squares from the waxing square this is what the waxing square looks like like uh, with uh, the Mars-Jupiter alignment, the 90 degree angle there. And so what we see is basically some congestion prior to the event, a little bit of dip right after that, and then a strong rally upward, a very de well-defined move uh, in the S&P. Uh, but this occurs uh, only every couple of years. The next time we'll get a waxing square like this will be in uh, 2023, uh, on uh, May the 23rd of, of that uh, uh, year. So so we got about a year and a half to wait before we uh, get one of, of, of those. Uh, what we're seeing here today is a waning square. That's that uh, 270 degree angle that we translate into the the difference of 90 degrees and call it a square uh, uh, because of that. Uh, but what we see here is a little different pattern. Uh, it tends to be much more volatile, much choppier. Uh, it does have a, a bit of a a bullish bias, uh, but some big swings in between. Uh, it can either be a, a day trader's delight or a big challenge in dealing with it. Uh, so what we try to look at with this one is uh, an optimal trade. We've done some back testing on uh, this pattern that we have happening right now. And if we enter a long position today uh, on the 8th of, uh, of December and then close it out on the uh, the 20th, Monday the, the 20th, uh, that gives us a swing trade set up uh, that it has a pretty good uh, probability. It has 68.4% likelihood of being a winning trade. But this is a much more difficult market to trade than the, the waxing square, uh, which is an obvious kind of setup there. 
Well, let's go with something that's really not difficult, and let's move on to our favorite subject, <laughs> and that is none other than Mr. Crypto himself, Tim Bost. We talk about so volatility in the stock we, market. I mean, the market drops 20% in one day, for heaven's sakes. What happened there? Absolutely. Well, we, we always promised you a fun ride, right? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> the no free ticket, but a fun ride. You got it. <laughs> and, and so uh, we talked about, what, 10 days ago or so, and at that point, uh, Bitcoin was uh, slightly north of the uh, 55000 um, a mark in terms of its uh, price activity. And one of the things we were looking at then is this correlation of our uh, Fibonacci line uh, analysis, the Fibonacci retracement pattern. Uh, and so we're looking at the coincidence of the uh, Kronos uh, pr uh, price lines uh, with the Fibonacci zones and finding a couple ones ones uh, that were in effect uh, there. Uh, and so uh, what happens with our chart here is we're looking at the horizontal purple lines, uh, which in some cases are covered by the red uh, Fibonacci lines there, uh, are a representative of the planetary positions of Kronos, the trans-Neptunian, mm -hmm. and we have the uh, more diagonal uh, green lines for the positions of Venus. And so we're looking at the mm -hmm. Venus-Kronos dynamics. Uh, they have proven to be very, very reliable in terms of our ability to understand understand some of the core uh, dynamics in uh, the Bitcoin uh, trading uh, situation here. Let's see, I think we've got a chart that zooms in a little bit better there. There we go. Uh, so uh, what we're looking at, uh, again, uh, when we last talked about it, it was uh, 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 trying to uh, confirm support uh, on that uh, uh, line at 55,544. And as you can see, uh, it uh, took a pretty big hit, uh, moving right into that solar eclipse that we had mm -hmm. uh, recently. Uh, and yeah. in fact, that low uh, on uh, on the fourth of uh, uh, of uh, December was on the date of that uh, solar eclipse. Uh, so what's interesting here is that it uh, hit that low, which in which was one of those uh, spots that we had identified the last time we talked as a, a high level of coincidence between uh, the uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, and uh, the uh, the Kronos line there. So the Kronos line was at uh, 42,044. Uh, the Fibonacci was on was uh, 42,713. Uh, so, uh, you know, reasonably close there. As it turned out, there was an intraday low right on the date of that solar eclipse at 42,874. Uh, so it was a little closer to the Fibonacci retracement uh, than, than to the Kronos line, uh, but it indicated a, a, a very uh, uh, well-coordinated uh, level of uh, or zone of, of, of support there because of the interaction of the two. Uh, so when we saw that, it was pretty strong confirmation then that we would get a at least a, a reasonable bounce out of that. Uh, and so what's happened since then is that we've been trying to move uh, upward uh, from that point and we're starting to hit some resistance at uh, another of these uh, Kronos lines, uh, which is at 51,000 44, uh, and uh, that uh, is proving to uh, set up some resistance uh, now. So I checked the price, what, about an hour ago, and it was trading. It was really <laughs> arguing with that price zone. Uh, one minute it was $51,010, uh, uh, you know, and, and something like that. And uh, mm -hmm. when we uh, last clocked it, it was at $50,860.41. Uh, uh, so that's our, our job with Bitcoin today is to see if we mm -hmm. can uh, work through that resistance at that $51,000. 1,000 uh, level, uh, and if, uh, uh, if that uh, proves to uh, uh, be sustained uh, as, uh, uh, as resistance, then we can look for lower prices ahead. Uh, and we're uh, concerned wow. back with that 46,544 wow. uh, level there. Uh, wow. But uh, my belief is that we're going to be able to penetrate that resistance fairly readily here and get yeah. back to that major zone, which is at 55,544, uh, mm -hmm. because that uh, uh, is, is a very powerful dynamic. That's actually a first harmonic uh, uh, Kronos mm -hmm. uh, line that's coming in there. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, if we can, can break through that, it's going to be a very, very significant uh, move mm -hmm. to the upside that gets triggered with that. Can you you have a uh, tell the folks how they can reach you? You've got a, a webinar coming up soon. Absolutely, we've got a webinar in which we're looking at uh, some of these factors in greater depth, and we're happy to share that with you. Uh, 
us here is at bit.ly slash Tim Larry P. Uh, that's all lowercase except for the initials. T and L and P are capitalized. That is a case-sensitive link. Go to bit.ly slash capital T I M capital L A R R Y capital P. And uh, that'll uh, get you hooked up. We will uh, uh, be able to contact you then as we have the webinar schedules and let you know about all of the events and opportunities we have available, including our new GAN class. We get that going in a couple of weeks here. So definitely want to know that. And happy holidays. We'll have you on before Christmas if you don't mind. Okay. Sounds like fun. We'll put the jingle bells on and join you. (laughs) Thank you, Tim. (laughs) You Have bet. a great one. You bet. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in saint petersburg florida The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to post a chart of the crude oil. We've been watching this uh, just about every day here. But uh, we've now completed that large ABCD pattern, uh, the CD leg is in focus up here at around the 72 and change level. Uh, So far, this was as of yesterday, we were at 70.20. The only retracements we've had on crude oil have been uh, 38% uh, for the last uh, five trading days. So uh, that's had a heck of a run. It should be uh, dissipating here a little bit. We're a lot of resistance up here at around $73 a barrel. Remember, $85 a barrel. They were telling us it was going to go to 100. When we got down to 62, they were told it's going to go down to 50. So somewhere in between, you got to make your own decisions. That's why these little wiggly lines will help you out. Not 100%, but they do better than most. And also, finally, on the chart that I posted for uh, 
uh, Apple. I did that, of course, as you know, tongue in cheek. There are no free gifts on Wall Street, but that is a perfect ABCD pattern in the largest traded stock in the world. Uh, it has not the highest value, but it is uh, more people trade that than any other stock. And that is a three drive to a top pattern. Whether it means anything for the overall uh, NASDAQ or the S&P or whatever index this darn thing is in, I don't know. All I know is that's an ABCD pattern. And we know that they only work about 65 to 70 percent of the time. So keep that in mind. If we go above $75, uh, the sale at 74 would have been uh, negated. So you're only risking a dollar and a half, which is 1 percent of a stock that's trading for $175. That's a that's a pretty uh, low risk uh, trade uh, from the way we look at it with uh, dollars and cents. So remind ourselves, folks, uh, we've had some major things possibly happening last night with the head and shoulders in the S&P, head and shoulders in the NASDAQ, and a potential 78% uh, retracement in the Dow Jones. These were, uh, these were numbers that were perfect, folks. They were within one-tenth of 1% 1 of being correct. And whether they're going to hold up or not, uh, no one knows that. But we'll see you tomorrow.